Hey, welcome to uh, this uh, shortwave radio channel, and I wanted to kind of do an update to my review of the Shoyun LC90 uh, portable receiver. So this is once again a long wave, medium wave, short wave smart radio. It has internet access for its smart radio, uh, internet radio capabilities. It actually even you know synchronizes the clock with the internet. Uh, it is something new, something that has never been done before, and Shoyang has decided, well, let's go for it, and they brought us this first version, the LC90. It was updated with several firmware updates. The first version didn't have single sideband. They updated firmware, then at some point, single sideband was there. The other thing was, before you had to plug it into a computer to update, now it updates directly over the air via Wi-Fi. And they issued a new firmware, which is 4.5. And the new firmware actually um, fixes one of the biggest flaws that I had with this problem, with this radio. Uh, and it's the birdies problem on shortwave. I don't know what they did. I don't know how they did. But the firmware actually fixes the birdies that are on the band and it's pretty cool uh, did they find a way to shut down part of the smart radio circuit I don't know but obviously the birdies are totally gone on telescopic antenna so this is a major update and a major um, change in in the review in some way so let's redo a review once again once again you have the power the buttons here each button on the top here have also a click function. So they will act and give you functionalities as you click and on the display that something will flash. You can change the bandwidth, you can change uh, outdoor, indoor antenna, stuff like that. Uh, I still will complain a little bit about the fact that all the connectors for external antenna, for charging, for the um, earphones are on the same side as the buttons. It could technically, if you tune a lot around, kind of be an impairment to the tuning, but it's like that. And I personally didn't find it to be that much of an issue, honestly. Um, but, you know, having so much space here would have been nice if they'd been there. I'll have that same complaint. But in my personal use, and I've used external antenna quite a lot, I can say that it has been that much of a problem personally. A lot of people are like, oh wow, look at that. Um, look, I've seen a lot of designs and weird designs in radios and of all sorts, and um, uh, look, they had to do it this way for some reason, and probably because of the design. It doesn't, for me, represent a big issue, honestly that it's on that side, even though it'd be better the other side. For the rest, uh, of course, the radio is beautiful. This is clearly a IN radio. The box it comes in feels like an iPhone. You know, it's like you're buying something that's kind of classy. And I know they want to, even the website looks classy. They want this to represent a different style of radio, something that is higher class, better than the others. And it, of course, shows it in a way that's particular. It has functions that no one else will have. Uh, the buttons are lit. The back, so if you, uh, you probably can't see because of the lighting, but these buttons, I would have to be in the dark. I'll do a video while I'll show the buttons. All the buttons, all the buttons, uh, all the buttons, whoops, here, 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 and up here. Everything is lit up equally beautiful something we've asked well, for a lot of radios lighted keypad so as soon as you touch a button or you turn the knob they turn on so um this radio of course is capable of single sideband we'll talk about that because that's the negative point that's left and i'm sure they can fix it and i'll put a little challenge on Shoyang to fix it on the lc90 if they need help, I'll be there. I will be happy to help out to make it better. So um, it has, of course, memories. So the little heart here 
is kind of your favorites. So when you press that, it keeps either a shortwave channel or an internet radio station in your favorites. Um, and of course, you have all the buttons here on the side that have like the keypad, uh, the different functionalities of menu that gives you the full menu within the radio to get to the internet radio. Uh, you have a, the dedicated news button brings you directly to some news outlets and um, you have a podcast button and music button. They all have a different function for the internet radio side. It um, performs as an internet radio, it does it decently. I mean, um, it's a lot of people have been complaining, well, some stations don't play. Hey, I got a Sanji and WFR32 that's as expensive as this and doesn't even have radio on it. And I can tell you this, it has tons of uh, streams that it doesn't work also. But you got to remember that, and those streams that don't work when you try them, uh, a lot of them are blocked depending on the country where you're trying to get them from. Uh, there's a lot of geofencing, which is a station from Germany might not want that stream to work outside of Germany. And it doesn't show. It will just give you an error or not, a connection error or something. So it might not always be the fault of the radio. It might be the fault of the broadcaster that's just blocked, like here in Canada. A lot of the stations that are in the U.S. do not uh, want us to hear them outside the border. So these will not work here, of course, because they're blocked. I personally find very stupid stations that block content depending on where you are, but that's a different story. For the rest, okay. Um, this radio is capable of long wave medium wave. Although the fix did improve the medium wave. And, and I have to say, it did improve it. Uh, it's a little less noisy than it was. But let me change here, see if I can... Probably too noisy here anyways for anything. But um, what was a difficult thing before is easier now. So it did suppress part of the noise, but long wave medium wave still prefers an outdoor antenna uh, to perform well. You guys seen the video that I had with the uh, Texan AM200 loop. Uh, so that works decently well. On the shortwave, well, the birdies are gone. And it brings this radio to the same level as a lot of modern shortwave radios now. Which means whatever you want to listen to in an international broadcast band, you're going to listen to it. No more birdies, no more thinking, maybe there's going to be a birdie at this frequency. They fix that. So it ups the quality of the shortwave listening and it brings this receiver into you know kind of a higher league of radio listening the only thing they need to fix on this for shortwave is the single sideband it was added later and probably added in you know how they see it how it should work but it has a flaw, and that flaw existed in Texan radios. Texan PL330, Texan PL386, uh, 368, sorry, um, were having that issue before they were released officially to um, the U.S. market. And it's that the USB is reversed. So when you are on 15014, and the station is on 15014.5, you would think I'm gonna use a fine tuning and go up to 0.5 and it doesn't work, okay? It really doesn't work. So what happens with that? Um, well, it's that the, um, there, the design of how it works is wrong. And so if you wanna fine tune, if the if you punch in a frequency and it's perfect, you're okay. But if you want to fine tune to have the correct tone of a voice or music and single sideband, if you go in the direction you should go, it doesn't work. That's not the way it works. You have to go into the other direction, but then you're going to change the kilohertz and then you're going to be off. So once again, I'll give the example of some hams I heard on 7125. They were on 7125.25 to get the tone correctly. 
I had to tune to 71, 27, uh, or 26.75. One and a three quarter kilohertz outside of the actual real frequency. And you gotta figure it out because it's not logical. There's no logic to it. It it's just doesn't work. So if you're a big fan of single sideband, this is a big flaw. Uh, it's not just a small flaw, it's a big flaw. If single sideband, you don't care, and you just want to listen to international broadcast and internet radio, that will do it fine now. With the telescopic, once again, it overloads on external antennas, uh, but you can may maybe mitigate it by not having too much of a ex big external antenna, also depending on where you live. You know, I live in a tough place. I live here with WWCR, WBCQ, that are really, really pounding their signals in Montreal and overloading pretty much every radio I have. So I'm not going to give it a bad mark on the overload because most portables do anyways here. Uh, in quiet environments where signals are weaker, it could actually probably withstand well an external signal, an external antenna, sorry. So um, that's pretty much what I have to say. Rechargeable batteries, unfortunately, once again, that's something that maybe they should change for the LC100. There's two torque screws. And in, in here, it's actually 18650s, uh, two of them. And um, I would like to have this just a clip because I have an external charger. I have tons of these batteries. So instead of charging with the radio, I would charge the batteries and just switch them. Um, that's something to remember. I also show you for the LC100, a little stand, a little plastic stand here so that it could be at an angle that's just perfect for viewing is a very useful feature. I'm uh, happy because I've got a little stand like this that was given to me by one of my fans and it gives me that opportunity. But um, for most people, a little stand so the radio's at an angle is really, really nice. Um, I understand that it's probably a, a, a design because you know they wanted to have it looking beautiful, so not to have a, too many different things you know, go, going out of the radio or so on. Um, so battery life is uh, good, it's good. Uh, it has a little flaw in charging. It's like sometimes you'll have to kind of shut down the radio because this is like a computer. So when you press the button, the power button for a while, you can actually shut down the radio. So now it says battery low because my battery is low, but I can press a button, shut down the radio. It shuts down like a computer, then it shuts back up. There are a few little flaws like that that happen with this radio. Another little thing is that the display here isn't accurate there are the frequency is okay but the indications of indoor indoor antenna or the meter band you are in are sometimes not up to date of where you are and what it does so that means that you'll have to manually change things and then the, the, the display becomes okay for example i was trying to listen to medium wave it told me i, I didn't hear much it's like what's what's happening and it was it said outdoor, and what happened is I realized that it wasn't on outdoor antenna. It was on the indoor antenna, but it said outdoor. I had to re-switch indoor and outdoor again for the display to be correct with what the radio status is. Same thing with the meter band. The meter band is rarely correct. Uh, it will show you 25 meter band, but you're a 13 meter band. It doesn't update with it or where you are which is something you could correct once again in firmware prob probably audio is good um, if you're looking for an internet radio only radio I would suggest something else because there are better like my St. Jean WFR32 has amazing sound I will use that rather than this for music for example but for everyday use listening to um, BBC World Service or um, you know, uh, Voice of America, stuff like that in the, in the choices. This works well because for voice, it's perfect. Uh, it has good audio, good, it's good FM reception. FM radio in here is really, really nice uh, and works well. This radio is also different from another radio, from every other radio, pretty much. So first of all, it accepts memory cards. So I have one in there because I updated the firmware. It needs a, a memory card if you update the firmware, even though it is done over the air. 
but there's a SIM card slot. And this is to give this internet capabilities in places where the internet is not working, you don't have Wi-Fi. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, you put a SIM card and you subscribe to some service and you can have internet radio as long as, you know, cell um, phone works. So basically this is good, it's kind of cool for that. Uh, this is what makes this radio expensive. A lot of people are saying, well, it's expensive. I, I, I don't agree in the it's expensive because it has a lot more than a standard shortwave radio. I mean, the same GNATS 909 costs as much as this. It doesn't have an internet uh, radio. It it's not a smart radio. So, you know, in the it's expensive, no, it's, it's just priced. I think it's priced right, honestly, uh, from all that it could do and all the circuits and the fact it has Bluetooth and it has SIM card capability for connectivity. It has Wi-Fi, connects through your router. You know, this is more than what every other radio does. You got to think into account all of these circuits and all of these things put the price of the radio up. So that's important to note. Uh, beautiful design. Like I said, improvements are to be done. But overall, um, the birdies that are gone have made me... Um, just made me say that it's a better radio. Uh, you just need to fix the single sideband. If you want to please the shortwave listener like I am and like those that would buy this, do fix the, the single sideband. Um, it's one thing that needs to be changed and needs to be fixed. And I know you can fix it in firmware. But for the rest, now it becomes a much better radio than before. Still not up to par on medium wave, long wave. So if you're medium wave DXer, it's not a radio for you. Long wave, not a radio for you either. But if you're looking at a general radio device that is a smart radio, gives you content, gives you the international broadcast bands, it's becoming a very interesting radio with the latest updates. Hopefully more updates and more fixes like single sideband. And that's the challenge I'm giving out to us uh, Cho Young. Fix single sideband. If you can fix single sideband, this becomes even better. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.